Hey YouTube, this is Joe. Um, today I'm going to be showing you a Texas Instruments TI 1250. It's an older style calculator made in 1975. And uh, yeah, I'll get into the inner mechanisms and show you all that good stuff. Okay, so this is the calculator. Um, has an LED strip display. And uh, this is just a basic calculator. So you have some of your basic functions here. We have a one track me one number memory with a clear button, a recall button, and plus or minus. You have division, multiplication, subtraction, addition, and then your equal sign in the gold strip. You have clear all calculator. That's your negative sign. This is your percent sign. And then you have your numbers clear the number that you're on, zero, and the decimal point. Okay, so <clears throat> I'll turn it on with the button right here. Okay, so let me turn it on here. Okay. So now it's on. Okay. I don't know why the display is like that. It's really bright. But, um, so say, let's just do seven times nine. 63. Alright. So now, let's just clear that. So now, if I do 4 times 5, what's cool about it is put 20, add that to your memory, clear. 7 times 8, now instead of having to remember that, add that. And then you'll get 76, which is. 63 Oh wait, that's um Yeah, that's right. Sorry about that. 4 times 5 plus 7 times 8 56 and 20 which would be 76 that's right okay so let's just clear out the calculator you have your negative sign and so I live in Pennsylvania so our sales tax is 6% so if I had a $5 purchase and I wanted to see how much it would be with tax we do 5 times 6% and that'd be five dollars and thirty cents. So that's pretty cool. It's a nice calculator. Uh, you just have your gold kind of strip around here, and the buttons have silver strips. Um, <clears throat> this is like a, a rocker switch almost. I don't know how you, a toggle switch. And when you pull that, it's off. Um, around right on the back here we have. All the patent numbers, your serial number, some operation examples, show you what that is. Um, it run, assembled in the USA. It runs on a 9 volt battery, which I taped the clo opening shut here because uh, something wrong with the clip thing. Um, up here, you have an AC adapter plug port. Um, it's not a calculator that you'd feel comfortable holding in your hand. I mean, I have pretty decent sized hands and it's a lot larger than them. It's a very thick calculator also. Okay, so now I'm going to take you into the internal components of this calculator. So, stick with me. Here you go. Okay, so yeah, as you can see, I have the cover of it off. And it's just little push buttons. Pretty simple. And you have a red covering here for the screen. TI-1250. Alright. Now over here is where it gets interesting. Okay. This is the calculator. Without a faceplate on it. Pretty much all it is is a black pad. A control board. And it has the metal receptors at the top. And they come down into the circuit board 
computer board right down here. Um, <clears throat> you have your little main computer right there. And um, there's your switch. It comes all the way up. Right here at the LED display. <clears throat> What's cool about this is, um, first, they designed a battery pack to hold it in there, which is pretty interesting for 1975. Secondly, when you turn on, it's still a little squeaky, but it still works. This is pretty cool. Alright, so that's it for today, guys. Um, remember, rate, comment, subscribe. See ya.